today I would like to talk to you about how Corona has become such a scare to everyone and we as Christians how we can overcome this fear and know that we have a God who is a God who protects us from all kinds of sickness and all kinds of infirmities. Uh, you know Jesus when he walked on this on this earth there was no sickness that he could not heal. He healed every sickness. In his name, even today, the same power is available to us. That when we speak his name, there is authority. And in his authority, we can cast out demons. All sickness can be healed. But I want to take you into a, a deeper step of understanding how to use this authority because when we don't know you know we walk in fear and we walk in failure but when we are aware we are able to overcome the fears first I want to just bring to your attention the woman uh, who touched the hem of Jesus's garment you can see that in Mark chapter 5 there was a lady who had an issue of blood for over 12 years and when Jesus was passing by she slipped and then she somehow reached out to the hem of his garment and she touched him and Jesus immediately stopped and turned around and he said someone has touched me I felt the power going out of my body and the disciples were surprised because they said there's so many people around you Lord because it was crowded and how can we find out who touched you Jesus said no there's someone who has touched me the lady immediately stepped forward and said it was I who touched your the hem of your garment and Jesus told her your faith has healed you so I want to draw your attention to faith today. See, when we have faith in Christ Jesus, when we have that relationship faith with Christ Jesus, then we don't have to be afraid because He is there for you. He is there for each of us. He is there to protect us. He is there as our Father. He is there as our Shepherd. He is there as our Protector. Like how the blood protected the Israelites when they were in Egypt that no plague came near the Israelites same way even today the blood of Jesus is a mark for you he has sealed you with the Holy Spirit according to Ephesians chapter 1 you know you have been sealed with the Holy Spirit for, for the hope that is of eternal glory so you don't have to be afraid you know you need to have that faith strong faith that I am in Christ Jesus and nothing can harm me. And the second thing that I want to draw your attention to is there was the man, you know, who, uh, who was blind and uh, he has been blind from birth. And Jesus heals him. He's, he spat on the, uh, uh, you know, he, took, he spat on the soil and then he made a clay out of it and then he applied it on his eyes. And he told him to go and wash his eyes on the pool and he was healed. Now, they asked him, whose sin is it that he is blind? Is it his sin or is it the sin of his parents? But Jesus' reply was, it's neither the sin of his parents nor his sin. But this sickness is to reveal the works of God. How many of us are ready to be that volunteer? to be used by God so that we can become His works when situations, when troubles, when hardships come your way you need to know that these are not to destroy you but to reflect or to show the works of God, the greatness of God through your life so God is looking for vessels who are humble and who are submissive and who are willing to live a life for the glory of God so, it is not always necessarily, you know, sin that
that one is sick. It could be that God wants to show His glory or His power. Jesus wants to reveal Himself through you or through, through, the, through the one who is sick. So, not every sickness is because of sin or a generational curse. And the third aspect that I want to draw your attention to is there was another man who was sick for 38 years and he was you know lying by the pool of Bethesda and you know the angel used to come and stir the pool and when the angel stirs the pool whoever steps in first gets healed but unfortunately this man could never step in and get healed because there was no one to help him someone would always go before him so Jesus passed by and asked him do you want to be healed and this man, for some reason, he never asked Jesus to heal him. Instead, he said, I always want to be healed, but every time I try to, you know, go to the pool, someone else is always there, you know, stepping up before me. So he just expressed his, his, his honest, you know, situation. And then his desire to be healed. And Jesus immediately told him, take your bed and walk. So he took his bed and he walked and he was completely healed. Later Jesus meets him and tells him, Do not sin anymore, otherwise a worse thing might come upon you. So here we see that Jesus is warning this man that because of sin, sickness can also come. But today, as his children, if you are walking, in complete obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have been washed by the blood of Jesus, if your life is in line with Him, and you have confessed your sins to the Lord Jesus, and you are walking with Him, then you don't have to be afraid, because the enemy is trying to put fear in everyone's life today. You don't have to be a victim of fear, because God has not given you a spirit of fear but a spirit of boldness. So you don't have to walk in fear anymore. So you're called to walk in boldness and in authority. Christ is working in your life. He's working through your life. He's working in your life for an eternal cause. Are you willing to submit for His glory to be revealed in your life and to walk in that faith that He has given you and not stepping out of his commandments, the ways that he has taught you how to live and how not to keep your eyes on this world, but to keep your eyes on eternal life, things above, and not on things below. If you're, if you're walking you're in, if you're walking that life today, do not be afraid. Jesus is holding you. His Spirit is guiding you. He's setting you free right now. Every few in Jesus' name.